Hey guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Today we're going to do a video on, on the home for a special abandoned children. <laughs> and we went to that place today, and it's a, it's a Catholic place. It's run by the Missionaries of Charity Brothers. Basically, they're linked to um, Mother Teresa. Okay, and you guys probably saw it in the walk the other day. I, I, I showed the picture of the place, and we talked briefly about it. And I had some people ask me about it. And I wanted to do some filming in there, but they, they said it wasn't okay to do any filming in there. So I, I, was, I asked about information, because a lot of you guys were asking about information if, if you guys want to make a donation. This place takes in kids off the streets that are really, um, basically they're really special needs children with, um, with all kinds of maladies. Like they might have um, multiple sclerosis or uh, they might have um, some sort of mental illness or um, but they're kids that might need a wheelchair, things like that. But they, the the parents just put them out in the streets and just gave up on them. They have these these children have nobody, they have nobody at all, okay. And they were put into this place, okay. Um, it's, I I got to see one of the kids, and I was really glad to see that that kid was off the streets, you know, and see that um, he had some people that really cared for him. What was neat was, was um, some of the people that work there for, are from India. And then there's, this, there's some other people that work there that are from the Philippines also. Okay, and here's the great part. Um, there's only about 30 of them in there. Okay, and I was talking to them about possibly making a donation of like a dinner or something like that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to donate uh, um, a bunch of food from Jolly Bee or something like that. And I know that you guys asked if you could donate. I'm going to get that information for you guys. Okay, but the, the, the person that's in charge there was not there. So we are going to have another video on this at some point, another vlog on this. And um, they gave me like this little um, pamphlet here about the place. And I'll read some of the stuff that they do here. They do an uh, education program. Um, they enroll teachable and educationable, educatable children for SPED, uh, provision of, of educational materials and toys, educational trips, exposure to different learning fields. They have a health program for medical, dental, nutrition, provide basic needs in home care living. Um, it's, it's, it's really interesting. And let's see, the objectives are to provide temporary shelter to abandon special children until such time that they are able to be reunited with their family or relatives integrated to the community or referred to appropriate agency and institutions. Now a lot of these kids, they have some people there that are 30 years old, so some people don't leave there. Um, they also provide terminal care to abandoned children to have no family and community and take care, to take care and are left destitute or dying. They take, they take care of them. Um, their other provisions are they take, they, they take care of food, clothing, proper place for sleeping, facilities for hygiene, uh, safe and secure environment. It's very safe and, and, and you know, the, the places, um, they keep everybody in there because some of those kids can run away or something like that because of the way they are. And they have, it's, I won't say it's caged in because it's, it's quite big inside there, but it's, it's, it's set up so the children can't run away in the middle of the night or anything like that because, it's, like I said, some of the kids have special needs and you, you have that concern where they might run away in the middle of the night or whatever. In some cases, they provide physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech and language therapy, and then they get into spiritual activities too and also burial service services. Um, they say eligibility requires special children ranges from 6 to 12 but they said that that, that they told me that it doesn't just fall into that category I guess so it's other other people too because they do have older people there too but I found it quite fascinating when I was in there that you know that that the people really have a heart for the people there you know it's a well-kept place it's it's um, they have t two girls volunteering there to take care of the grounds when I was there and you know I'm going to get that information for you guys, and I'm going to see if we can do some sort of video, but we can't videotape the kids in there. Okay, and I want to do, I want to do a video in there to, to show this place a little bit, but I know we can't videotape the kids. But maybe we can videotape a couple of the uh, people that work there talking and, you know, telling 
you guys what what happens inside there and if you guys want to make a donation of something you can donate directly to them and I'll, like I said I'll give you guys the address or whatever I think this would be like a great charity I'm not a Catholic or anything like that and this is a Catholic group but you know for something like this for for kids with special needs I mean I used to work with with special needs kids you know when I used to work as a mentor I worked with a lot of kids with Asperger's and aut autism and stuff like that so this would be a great thing to you know to give to for, and, and I'm gonna give something already myself you know but if you guys want to give, that'd be great, you know, and I will get this information and we will we will follow up on this for sure. Hopefully within the next week we'll have some more information on this so we can show you guys the inside of the place or at least talk to the lady in there or the man in there, whoever's in charge. And, you know, because we talked to one of the brothers there, okay, and we will have that information, guys, and we'll get back to you. And God bless, guys. Take care.